guys, I'm Craig from Ridgeway Tech. Today we're going to be looking at modifying an old keyboard. We have an old Cherry keyboard here with mechanical switches which are really old. So it's a great donor for the project that we've got today. We're going to be skinning it in this graphite sticky back paper to see what we can come up with and give it a new lease of life. Maybe tie it in so it could match with your current rig and just give it a new lease of life. The tools we're going to need for this are going to be a screwdriver to take it apart, maybe some spudgers or something to, to unclip it. Uh, we're going to need some cleaning stuff, so we've just got our bucket of tricks, a scouring brush and some washing up liquid, nothing fancy. And now we're going to bring you in for a closer look to see how we do it. So we're going to start by pulling one of these keys, just so we can take a little look at the little switches under it. And I don't know if you can see that, it's some sort of white switch. Yeah, it feels very linear. Can't really feel an actuation point, so not quite sure what they are, but I'll say this pretty old keyboard. I'm not quite sure if we're going to need to remove any of those keys to get to anything, but we're going to have a look at uh, just dismantling it here. So, there we go. They're different to the ones at the back. Obviously going careful at this stage because you don't want to break any of the plastic tabs. our top that we're going to be modifying. Let's just turn that around so you can see. And there's our naked, our quite naked keyboard. And there's a lot of gunk on there. So we're going to give that a good clean. There's no real no need to dismantle this section any further as we're only going to be modding this top section. Uh, it's, it's kind of nice and flat which is going to be good for us to work on so we just need to go and give it a good clean there's, an, there's a sticker on here that says kid glove so I think this was orientated for originally designed for a school or something something like that and we're just going to get and give it a good clean and uh, on with the wrapping And we have our bucket of soapy water. I'm just gonna dip that in there and give it a give it a good clean. You can see we've got our sponge with the abrasive side. That'll actually help give it a little bit of a key when we're sticking our cover to it. Obviously we're doing this indoors just so that we can shoot the video for it. But it wouldn't be a bad idea to go outside and do this. And we're just removing any grease or anything on it that will stop the cover from sticking. And pay special attention to the edges. And now we've got to deal with this sticker. So I'm just going to flip it over again and leave that to soak in the bottom. That's been sitting in the bucket for a few minutes now. 
probably do a, bit, a little bit longer. But we'll see if that's helped so that we can peel that sticker off. And we might need to get a knife under it or something. And it's starting to come. Ah, there's something underneath the sticker. Ah, it says Vig Keys. So, rebranded or something? I don't know. Yeah. Vig Keys, it says. doesn't matter because we're going to be sticking our thing all the way over the top of it. But I might look that up on the internet later and see if I can find any information about it. I have looked up the specs on the keyboard to find out uh, what type of switches it's using and stuff. And it's just like a, it's a really old switch from before the times of using MX cherries. That's just a kind of pre-MX cherry switch. It's nothing special. And there. That's pretty much it. We just need to dry that off and we can move on to the next step. go and you can either help it along with a hairdryer or just leave it in an airing cupboard overnight just to make sure that all the little nooks and crannies all these little bits are free from any moisture now the first thing we're going to want to do is cut off enough to do the job now before you do this it's worth just flipping it over and just seeing you know which way the design is going to go our lines are running from the top right to the bottom left, as you can see they're running that way, and of course if you wanted it running the other way we'd have to cut it that way but we'd waste quite a bit of our paper so we're just going to go cut it off that way like that. Leaving of course enough to overhang the edges it can always be trimmed off later. So I think just to that main big line there. I'm just gonna, just gonna mark that. So we're gonna go to this line here. Obviously a nice sharp pair of scissors is required. These are dressmaking scissors, I think. All I know is they're sharp. Right. So I'm just eyeballing it up. Plenty to cover it up. back slightly. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to lay, lay the keyboard down on top of that. And we'll get it nice and straight at this point. So that our pattern's nice and straight when we flip it over. We can press this end down. work just pressing down on all the spots where it's flat just feeling for where the edges are don't push down too much in those spots just make sure 
sure we're not getting any air caught. I'm going to have to make some cuts in the corner sections. We're going to get a little bit more of this made flat first of all. We're just using a or discount card, rewards points card. So probably don't use your actual credit card, but something like a credit card. And if you've ever put a screen protector on your phone, it's a similar similar way of doing it. Just got these corners to sort out now. And then we're gonna get the hair dryer and heat it, heat it up a bit and see if we can stretch it around. these round for the time being. We've got some clips in the way. So maybe a little snip so we can go around those. Some little snaps to get past. It's no big deal. Just take your time and just go around, fitting it, pushing it in, pushing it around. No, it's not shrinking as well as I was hoping. Could be this batch shrink wrap just isn't as good as the last lot that I had. But it's still not too bad. Right, moving on to the middle sections. And what we're going to do is we just want to make a cut. So 
I'll just grab our chopping board, our cutting surface. So we've got our trusty cutting surface and our knife and we're just going to cut a 45 degree angle in the each corner. Just halfway between, basically. Okay, and we can get rid of some of this extra stuff. bits that we don't need. And fold it over, making sure to press it in all the creases. going over the edges, give it a bit of a pull to make sure you're pulling it nice and taut. say you know it's not perfect but it hasn't taken us long to do you know you're looking at maybe half an hour job and obviously it takes us longer because we, we're filming it but obviously there was other ways of doing this I mean you, you could paint it you could use some automotive paint and paint it. I've done keyboards like that, which have turned out great. But you're not going to get that effect like that. I don't know how well it's showing up on camera, but you've got this beautiful textured pattern. And what we're going to do with the lights here, I've covered them over. We could cut those out, but I'm actually hoping the lights will just shine straight through. So you've got your, your num lock and cap lock and everything. I'm hoping they'll shine straight through. And who uses them anyway? Maybe. And there we have it, guys. All covered up. Just remains to see whether it fits on now. to back. There we go. We've breathed new life into an old dull keyboard. Don't 
Doesn't that look fantastic? Now, with a bit more work, you could get it better. The uh, the corners are tricky. You have to heat them up. So t a few creases, and possibly if we were using some better material, we have gone with a slightly cheaper, slightly cheaper cover than normal. But I think for the time it took. Certainly a good four foot mod anyway. So then guys, in conclusion, was it worth it to modify this keyboard? Well I think so, yes. It didn't take very long. It was quick, it was simple. Can you get a better job if you paint it? Maybe. Maybe if we'd spent more money on the more expensive wrap then maybe, but then that would have defeated the purpose. We were taking an old keyboard that we didn't want, that was ugly, and we've turned it into a keyboard that I think looks rather fetching. Even the LED lights shine through. So, what do you think? Let me know in the comments, and I'll be seeing you in the next one. I'm Craig from Ridgeway Tech.